We move on to our manage section now and we're going to take a look at the updates for PDM Professional. Prior to doing that though, it's worth us reiterating the statement regarding SolidWorks Workgroup PDM. This is being retired as of the 2018 release and official support ends for the product on December 31st, 2018. You will also notice as of the 2018 release that the ability to install PDM Workgroup will not be available. So that gives you two options going forward. The first one is PDM Standard, which is included with SOLIDWORKS Professional and Premium, and PDM Professional, which carries a separate license cost. So just to detail the differences between the two products fairly simply, if we look on the left-hand side, PDM Standard is ideally suited to less than 10 users with a predicted 10 gigabyte database size. Again, ideally suited to a single site installation, it carries limited mobile device support. There is no multi-CAD support within the tool. We can uh, use PDFs, but there's no preview. It operates on a single workflow policy. There's basic search facility, uh, limited automated tasks, and no API. Within PDM Professional, again, a separate license cost is required for this tool. It's suited for unlimited users with an unlimited database size. It can be suited to multiple site installations, carries the ability to uh, have mobile support on any device. It can be multi-CAD. There are non-CAD document previews, so if you want to put in Word documents, for example, we can preview those within the vault. We can also include many parallel or complicated workflows. It has a full search facility with favorites and we can search across multiple vaults. There's an automatic document creation tool within uh, PDM Professional to generate PDF step, DWG or office documents. And we can create custom tasks and connectivity to business systems. So in terms of the updates for 2017, we now have the ability to perform a latest version overwrite. So historically, uh, versions would be incremented every time a document was checked into the vault. We now get the choice, uh, if permissions are enabled, to override the latest revision, so keeping the number of versions to a minimum. Database replication has been improved in the professional version, and we've seen some enhancements to Web 2 as well there. Uh, there's been some task improvements and the introduction of a new task to generate uh, PDFs from Office documents in the professional version. DWG DXF to PDF, uh, again an automatic task that's now included with uh, PDM Professional, but it would require the use of DraftSite Pro as well. In both versions we've seen expanded custom column support and the ability to copy group permissions. Thank you.